Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another Jet Pens review video here in my YouTube channel. Um, like I've shared with you guys in the past, Jet Pens has graciously gifted me with some store credits and then I purchase items and show you guys what I got and give you a little bit of a review. So instead of doing a review of pens or pencils like I usually do, I thought it'd be kind of fun to go, go over some of the paper offerings that they have in their store. I did include two notebooks that I received as a gift from someone that I do not believe are available at jetpens.com, but they are comparable to the other notebooks that I've included here, so I wanted to share them with you today. So I'm going to be sharing with you three by five notebooks, and um, I they're kind of that pocket size that's perfect for putting in your purse or in your briefcase or just on the go type sizing. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to see some of the things that are out there as far as pocket notebooks go. So we're going to start with this one right here. This is by the company Word Notebooks. And I'm going to go ahead and I wonder if I can just slide this off or if I need to tear it. We might have to tear it. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, so they are wordnotebooks.com, I believe. And here they have a little card saying what they're all about. It says, and I'm going to zoom in here so you can read along if you can see the really tiny type. Okay, it says, the story of Word Notebooks. As daily notebook users, we wanted to create the perfect pocket version to keep with us at all times. Something stylish and functional. We each had our own system for note taking and we wanted, wanted to standardize one for everybody. With that idea, Word Notebooks was born. Each features our unique system to help organize your life. They're all designed and made in the USA and are meant to be archived. We hope they become your go-to pocket notebook. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, on the back, it gives you suggestions for what to use your notebook for grocery list, restaurants you want to try out, holiday shopping list, killer ideas, a packing list for your next trip, places you want to go to travel, weekly, daily, weekly, and monthly to-do list. It says, once you filled one up, store it someplace safe so you can look back on the things you were up to when you used it. We'll continue to create new styles so your collection can grow with time. And jetpens.com does have a few different uh, colors of notebooks and styles. Uh, this is just one of them that they offer and each set comes with three notebooks which I think is kind of nice because um, when they're this small you don't really want to put out that much cash and only get one notebook you want multiples you know okay so I'm gonna look inside and we're gonna see what it says okay so you've got a space for your name notes um, dates and then if you wanted to kind of like bullet journaling I know that's kind of popular right now um, you, they have a guide for what you can do for bullet journaling and then an if found contact and then each page let me see if it's like this on each one yeah each page has lines and then circles let me see if I can zoom in some more so you can see them. it's kind of hard because it is white but here you go you can see that's about how far apart the lines are and then you've got your circles down the one side I've got three different types of pens that I'm going to test in each notebook. Um, the first pen that I'm going to test is just a regular ballpoint pen. This is a Jet Stream. And I'm just going to write in the notebook so you can see what it looks like. The paper is really smooth, it feels nice. I don't have any complaints complaints it has um it's not like super smooth but it's got a little bit of texture to it but not any that you can really feel just enough texture that when you're using a ballpoint pen it's not going to slip or slide okay the next pen i'm going to use is a felt tip pen this is a papermate flare and a lot of people like these for journaling i have a feeling this one's going to bleed through but we'll check in a minute here all right, and then I have a fountain pen. This is a fountain pen that I reviewed a while back. I think it's so pretty. And I've actually filled it with some ink using a, uh, so it's not the ink that came with it. So I'll include that in the link section or the video description below. But this is a, I 
I believe it's a safari. I can't remember. Okay, we'll see how that paper stood up too. So we're gonna fold it over. Okay, so it looks like it's just some of the points on the fountain pen kind of bleed through a little bit. Uh, you can definitely see the paper mate flare through the paper, but I don't know that that would really prevent me from using the other side of the paper. And with your regular ballpoint pen, it doesn't show through at all. So I think if I was going to use this notebook and uh, use like both sides of every single sheet, I probably would recommend using the the ballpoint pen just because it's a little safer and you know you're not going to have any bleed through or have any problems writing on the other side. Okay, so that is the notebooks, the three by five notebooks from Word Notebooks. I think they're really nice. I like, I love this blue color and they have a variety of other notebook colors as well. I don't know if they offer a variety pack with different colors, but I would really be interested in something like that um, so that I don't have three of the same, especially if I'm going to be archiving these. It'd be nice to know, oh, this one was for the month of January and this yellow one was for February. Um, it'd be nice to have different colors without having to buy multiple three packs. Okay, I have a couple different notebooks from Field Notes. Uh, this one is a regular, this is kind of like their staple, I think. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. It does come shrink wrapped, which is kind of nice because you know it's going to uh, protect your notebooks. Okay, so this is a 48 page memo book. And there are lines. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the interior a little bit more. Um, like the previous notebook that we looked at, this does have some suggested areas to fill out. Um, your name, in, uh, information you want to put in there, some start and end dates, and then also an if found area. So kind of like, um, like the previous notebook. I think it's interesting about this one is that it's got the lines and let me show you a little closer. Um, the lines are actually brown. They're not blue or gray or anything that I've really seen with other notebooks. Um, but let's go ahead and test out the paper quality. Once again, I'm going to start with the ballpoint pen. Move on to the paper mate flare. This paper does really tend to absorb that ink. It's, uh, it seems like it's a little of a thicker line than I'm usually getting out of my paper mate flare when I use paper that's a little bit more coated. Okay, let me turn that over. Okay, so I can't see the ballpoint pen at all. The paper mate flare, I can I can tell that there's something written and I can tell the, the fountain pen as well, but there aren't as many points that are showing through as compared to that previous notebook. So I'm going to grab that other notebook and we can do a quick comparison. So I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a little bit hard to see on camera, um, but I can definitely tell that the field notes paper is slightly thicker or it handles the ink just a little bit better than the word notebook. I don't know that it's a big enough difference to recommend one over the other. Um, it's really just your personal preference. If you want to try that more bullet journaling with the circles, I think you might like the word notebooks more. These filled notes, uh, notebooks are really kind of classic looking. I like that they look really classic. And that had three notebooks and they're all the same. They all have the same lined interior pages. So this is this one's kind of cool and I got this particular set of notebooks because um, I think this would be a really fun gift. And they have all 50 states. I got Utah since that's where I live. And I really want to get some more for some of my friends who live out of state. I think it'd be kind of fun just to send them a little care package with notebooks with their state. So the thing that's kind of cool is on the back of these notebooks, as soon as I can get it open, I'll let you guys know. Um, on the back of the notebooks, it has facts about each state. Well, the state that the book is about anyway. Okay, so, and it also has three different colors, which I find 
wonderful. Uh, like I mentioned before, I wish the Word notebooks came in three different designs. These filled notes for the states have three different designs, and they each have the same info on the back, but uh, different colors. Okay, so if I'm going to zoom in here so you can see a little bit more. So here is your um, kind of rundown about everything in the state. It even gives you your bordering states, total farm acres, um, the type of state soil, state mineral, the state animal. I had no idea it was the Rocky Mountain elk. <laughs> I did know that the state insect was the honeybee. You know, we're called the beehive state. Um, smallest town is Schofield, which is population 24. Wow, crazy. So it just gives you a lot of um, facts on each of the states. So this is just the example of Utah. And let's open it up. These actually have grid inside. It looks like the information on the inside cover is exactly the same as the previous notebook with just the brown cover. And the, these notebooks have grid inside. So let's go ahead and, and do that pen test just to see how it goes. I suspect just because it's the same company that the one similar results to the previous notebook. Okay, we'll turn that over. Okay, I think I see even less on this one. I don't know if it's because of that blue cover. So I'm going to put a little bit of white cardstock underneath just to see, because that could also be the difference. Okay, yeah. Now you can see it through just a little bit, but it's definitely not anything to be concerned about. I wouldn't hesitate to write on the other side of the paper. Um, no problems whatsoever. I think this one looks even a little bit better than the brown version. Yeah, you can definitely see the difference. Okay, so it's getting better and better. I kind of like that. So here are the three colors that the state field notebooks come in. I think it's kind of fun. Once again, it'd be great gift giving. Okay, so I've got these two notebooks here that were actually given to me as a gift from one of my good friends for my birthday, and she gave me this little cat paper clip, which I believe that paper clip is available at Japan, so I'll go ahead and link that if that's uh, available there. But um, these are notebooks from Rifle Paper Company, and they're really, really pretty. They've got gold foiling on them, and they're completely blank inside. So if you wanted to do sketching, or if you just don't like to have lines on your notebooks, I think that would work really well. I'm gonna go ahead and do the paper test. This definitely has more of a soft surface. It's more smooth. Doesn't seem to absorb that paper mate flare as much. Okay. There is a little bit, I can see it just a little bit of a ghosting of that writing on the other side, but definitely not enough to prevent me from writing on the other side. I think it looks really nice. So there we go. All right, I have one more notebook to share with you guys. This is actually the, the most expensive notebook, even though it is only one notebook, it's not three. But this is from Rodia, I think that's the name of it, and or how they pronounce it. And it's a nice notebook that was a hard cover. And you guys know me, I love lots of color. So once you see the inside of this book, you're, you're not going to be surprised why I picked this book. Okay, so the outside is a really, really soft material. I don't think it's leather, but let's, I don't think it even says for sure if it's not. Um, it could be, I don't know, it might be leather. I have no idea, but it feels really, really soft. It has the Rhodia logo embossed on it. it has a elastic band and then look at that lining isn't that awesome it's a zebra it has a ribbon bookmark right there and then in the back it's got a little pocket with gusseted sides so you can put some other things inside of it and then it's all lined paper inside the paper is really, really slick. I love Rhodia paper for calligraphy because when you're using a pointed pen, the paper is so smooth and tightly woven that 
it doesn't catch on your nibs. That's really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and just test out, in fact, maybe I'll do one of the back pages since I think I'm really going to use this notebook. I'll do one of the back pages so we can test that uh, thickness. Okay, so, oh, it's very smooth. Very easy to write in, very, very smooth. Zoom in so you guys can see this a little bit more. The pages are kind of a cream color. They're not white. Here's white in comparison. You can definitely see the difference. It's more of a yellowish cream. Once more, my theory of having it smoother or a little bit coated, it doesn't absorb the, the ink quite as quickly, so the paper mate flare has a thinner line as compared to the other papers. This one almost feels like the ink is sitting on top that it might smear. Yeah, you can see how that smeared. So if you're going to be using a fountain pen on this kind of slicker smooth paper, you're going to want to make sure that you let that dry completely. Those of you who are left-handed might have a little bit of problem with that, and I think in general fountain pens are a little bit hard for left-handers, but uh, just be aware of that. Okay, so let's see what it looks like on the other side. Hardly any ghosting coming through. There is a little bit. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. A little bit, once again, like I said with the other notebooks, it's not going to prevent me from using all pages of the notebook. So I really love this one. It has a lot of different sheets inside. Um, let's see, how many sheets are there? There are 96 sheets inside. So it's uh, almost double what the other notebooks are. But once again, it is more expensive and you only get one notebook as compared to three. So you kind of you kind of get what you pay for, but at the same time, it's a higher quality. So really love this color combination. They have a bunch of other color combinations, um, and I think they all have that same inner lining uh, with the you know colorful zebra. This right here, but they have a different color on the outside. So it's just kind of a really fun line of notebooks from Rodia. So here are all of the notebooks that we've looked at today. And I did want to show you one more notebook, which kind of got me interested in reviewing all of these. And it's one that you might be interested in. This is a little um, notebook from Moleskine, or Moleskine, however you want to pronounce it. But I've been using it to do some calligraphy quotes in. You may have seen it on my Instagram. Just like trying out different styles, um, just different quotes. So that's kind of fun. I think I'm going to be using a couple of these notebooks for something similar. But um, this one is interesting because the pages are, are perforated on the inner, um, right at the seam. So if you wanted to tear out the pages, you absolutely could. Like I did this Happy Mother's Day. And let's say I don't want that one anymore. I can actually, oh, just kidding. Not all of them are perforated. That's interesting. Looks like it's only the ones that are past the center. Yeah, it's got this uh, stitching down the middle and these pages in the back of the notebook have perforation. So, there we go, I can tear that page out. But the pages in the front do not have any of that perforation. Interesting. So just something to note for these uh, Moleskine notebooks. And I just wanted to share that one with you guys. It's the same size as these other like filled notes, notebooks and things like that. So thanks for watching. I hope that gives you some ideas on notebooks that you might want to try out. I think this is a really inexpensive way to kind of have something nice uh, on you at all times. And you can do any of your note, note taking, things like that. If you want to do bullet journaling or to-do lists, I think this one would be great with all those dots on the side. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any products at Jet Pens that you'd love for me to try out for next month's video, please let me know down in the comments. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. 
for watching today's pretty lengthy video on these notebooks. On screen right now are videos that I've done in the past where I review different items that I've received from jetpens.com. So if you'd like to check out any of those, you can click on the screen and it'll take you to those videos. Or if you're on a mobile device, check out the video description below. The links are included there. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time.